In this video, I'm going to break down the difference between affirmations and visualization, which one's more effective, which one's more powerful when you're trying to manifest and use the law of assumption. And I want to start with affirmations because affirmations can be so powerful because I've used them. I know people that use them. I actually coach on this. I tell people to use them because they actually will change your inner dialogue because whether you're affirming or visualizing, you're actually still visualizing because you're always visualizing. We're always imagining something, but what are you imagining? With affirmations, what an affirmation does is say, for example, you're affirming, I am a millionaire. I am a millionaire all day long. I am a millionaire. Or I am now in this relationship or I now have this car. or I now have this house. When you're affirming these things, when you're actually affirming, I am a millionaire, your mind, your, your mind or your imagination is automatically picturing that being complete. When you're saying it complete, when you're actually saying it out loud or inwardly, you're affirming this over and over and over, your mind is automatically gonna picture that and, and because imagination creates reality. So when you're affirming something, I am a millionaire, your mind's going to the end result, just for, maybe just for that split second, just for one second is changing and it's picturing the end result. And then it's taking that feeling in just for that little spl like split second. But it, as you do it, it may work more and more as you do it. I am a millionaire. So your mind's automatically, then it feels it. Then it comes back to your regular you know, inner dialogue. And then you do it over and over and over. Then you've, you're retaining that feeling so much and doing so much repetition that your mind eventually will live in that new state, whatever it is that you are affirming, your mind will constantly be imaging that end result of whatever that affirmation is. So it, it slowly will develop itself to, your, to that new state. That new state of being will move, will gradually move there, sometimes even quickly, depending on how far of a reach it is and what context you know, the affirmation is based on. You know, if it's something like now you're unemployed, you're trying to make $100 million and you're just affirming this, affirming this, what will happen is you'll be imagining this, the end result over and over, and you're repeating this and you're using so much repetition that you'll start getting ideas. You know, that's the, what I've seen happen a lot, even with myself. You know, I'll start getting ideas that will lead to that end result because when your mind starts imagining the end goal as, it, as if it's now, just like with visualization, but you're affirming it, but it's doing the same thing. But when you start doing that, you start getting ideas that are leading you towards that. Or I've seen like doors start to open or, or something will happen in my 3D world that'll start leading me towards that. The more you affirm, the more you affirm. Because with affirmations, all it's doing, all it's doing is imagining. Your mind is picturing that end result. So you're still visualizing, just you're not you're not intentionally visualizing. You're not closing your eyes and visualizing, but your mind is still picturing that affirmation whatever that affirmation implies your mind is visualizing that and that's the that's the only difference between affirmations and visualizations because with your if you're actually intentionally visualizing which i believe is the most effective way to visualize because you're kind of like skipping the middleman you know so to speak because you're creating that yourself you're picturing the end result yourself you're not just allowing your mind to do it from an affirmation because there can be some resistance it could be something a little bit different when you're affirming but when you're actually visualizing the picture in the with five senses with all senses you're creating this picture and you're able to focus on it you're able to sustain that feeling much faster i believe because you're kind of skipping the middleman like i said and you're creating the visualization the actual end result yourself and you're seeing it you're feeling it because feeling is a secret so essentially that's all they're doing like affirmations or visualizations just creating that image in your mind that image is creating a feeling state and if you live in that feeling state long enough you know it'll it'll change you your entire life it'll it'll change your state your conception of yourself and your frequencies and your energies and everything and it'll transfer you to that world where it's actually going to happen to you because you're visualizing something whether you're affirming or visualizing you're creating a picture in your mind and then that picture is creating a feeling state and then that feeling state is going to transfer you to that world that corresponding world where you have those things because you're telling the sub you're tricking the subconscious mind to believe now that you have this because if you feel you have something the subconscious mind's impersonal it doesn't know the difference so when you're feeling this you're feeling this constantly feeling 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 that you are already have something but yet you really don't the subconscious mind's like okay so 
this person has this already. So they, they're in this feeling state. They're in this feeling state. They fall asleep with it. They're falling asleep with it. They're impressing the subconscious us with it. You know, then it's going to happen. It'll lead you to that world where you actually have that. And there's even some instances where I've actually coached people on this, where they're affirming different things. Like they're trying to affirm a certain amount of money or they're trying to get a new career. And what they find is they're, they're running into a lot of different obstacles. And what I explained to them is this is something that is developing you to get to that end result because because now you're making, you know, 150,000, 200,000 or 50,000 a year, but you're imagining yourself making 500 or a million a year. So what's going to what needs to happen is your concept of yourself has to change and through some obstacles or some trials and tribulations are going to happen. Some of those sometimes those are the things that are required for you to get through and learn how to overcome in order to make that million a year. So these things it's not always sunshine and rainbows when you're affirming something Thing or when you're visualizing something, sometimes those are going to create somewhat bad things to come into your life. They're not really bad, but they're developing you to be this new version of yourself where you can have all these things. You know, like if you are falling asleep, you know, being happy, you know, every single night, or you're or you're affirming that you're happy and you're and you're living a fulfilling life, but right now you're just you're not happy. So you may have to go through things that are going to make you appreciate the present moment and all the little things in life like kind of what i like what i had to go through i was a i was affirming i was visualizing i was falling asleep in my new concept of myself but i didn't appreciate anything in my life i was not grateful for anything that i had in my life so i went through a pretty bad experience but at the end of the day that has created the new version of myself now where every morning i wake up it's like christmas morning i have created this new concept of myself where i'm grateful for it for everything i mean i walk outside you know just to get fresh air and that's like just to be able to breathe just to be able to walk outside just to be able to go you know in my own refrigerator or have my own bed or have privacy all these things i am so grateful for now but i never even noticed them before like i didn't even i never appreciated being able to you know have privacy or have my own space or things like you know not have to worry about you know my life being taken in the middle of the night you know all these things i took for granted so when i was imagining you know when i was visualizing falling asleep with this new version of myself being happy i had to go through some things that led me there but now i'm there and i'm grateful and i'm very appreciative that i did go through through that because now I'm going to live the life that I never could have been able to even fathom or understand, you know, the quality of life before like I can now. So living the life I have now for one year would have been more fulfilling than 500 years of the old concept of myself. So yeah, I had to go through some obstacles, some trials and tribulations, but ultimately it developed me into this new version of myself where I'm grateful and happy. I never would have been happy in a million years in my old concept of myself. So if you find yourself in this position, you know, you need, you need this change. You want to feel this gratitude. You want to feel happy no matter what's going on in your life fall asleep happy and the, and you will trick the subconscious mind to put you through whatever needs to happen in order for you to always be happy to always be grateful no matter what it is depending on it doesn't necessarily have to be what i went through you know a long a long stretch in prison but it may be something where it's going to be a little uncomfortable for a little for a little while or it's going to develop you or bring you to videos like this or courses on gratitude you know developing the muscle of your mind things like this that are going to help you notice you know this new part of life and this new grateful part of yourself I know I kind of went off topic again a little bit about the affirmations and the visualization, but you get my point. They're both the same thing. Affirmations are visualization. They're the same thing. They're just indirectly. You're indirectly visualizing. When you're affirming something, you're seeing it in your mind anyway. You're creating a feeling, but sometimes there can be some, some disconnect. So it may take a little bit longer sometimes, but maybe not. But visualization, I find, is like you're directly creating your scene with all five senses and you're making it real. But again, you got to have that developed, you know, focus in your mind, which we go over with different leaf exercises and and the reverse course. We're going over different things to develop that part of your mind where you can actually stay and focus on one thing. And that's all oh, that's that's everything, because when you create this feeling state, feeling is the secret. And when you can develop your mind to focus on one thing, you can direct it towards that one feeling. You direct your attention on that one feeling. And you hold it there. You hold it there. That's what everything is developing. That's why you want to develop your mind to be able to focus on one thing. Because when you find that feeling, 
when you create the feeling, you capture that feeling and hold it as long as possible and you fall asleep with it. That's the trick. That's the cure to everything. All of your problems right there is to develop the, the muscle of your mind to be able to focus on one thing and then fall asleep by you, by you holding on to this feeling and take it into the drift, impressing the subconscious mind and then creating the life of your dreams no matter what that is. All right, I love you and that's the end of this video. And don't forget to give me one thing you guys are grateful for or any other questions you want to leave for me for future content, potential future content, leave that in the column box below. I read all of the comments, leave all of your questions, and that I will answer your questions in future videos. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.